No, your eyes are not deceiving you. I have returned with another How the Internet Fell Out of Love video. This is my second one within the span of two weeks. And uh, coincidentally, both of them happen to be on two celebrities who are routinely credited with ruining The Mandalorian. Because I'm fat. Tamika. <sighs> hey, you've got something everybody wants. You've got talent, girl. You have an incredible singing voice, and I'm not just saying that. You heard of Aretha Franklin, right? Okay, she's a big lady, but when she starts singing, she blows people's minds. Everybody wants to party with Aretha! And, um, you know who else has a weight issue? Who? Me. But, once I get up on stage, start doing my thing, people worship me! Because I'm sexy and chubby, man. Why aren't you on a diet? Because I like to eat. Is that such a crime? So this is one of those How the Internet episodes where I don't need to necessarily tell you why everyone loved Jack Black at one point in time and why a lot of people still love him. That was a clip from School of Rock, which was one of my most favorite movies of all time. And I'm not alone in that. Chances are over the last, I don't know, 20 years or so, Jack Black has been a part of a project you've probably liked, whether it's one of his films or his voice acting or his songs in his band, Tenacious D. If you think it's time to freaking rock, out of control, well then you know you've got to rock the block, you freaking sock, my freaking- All in all, he's a very gifted comedic actor and a very talented musician. And many have supported him for not fitting the conventionally attractive Hollywood mold, but being himself and being adored nonetheless. Jack Black for a long time has been in the wholesome celebrity who can do no wrong category. When he's not voicing your favorite character in some animated movie, he's playing games with his son on his YouTube channel or making some kind of silly TikTok and minding his own business. All the while curating his reputation as the funny, quirky, fat guy who happens to like all of the same things in gaming culture that you like. I'm glad you asked that question. First of all, you're uh, Kathleen from Screen Junkies, right? <laughs> I never forget a face, I never forget a thing. My mind's like a steel trap. Uh, you know, I wake up at uh, 5 a.m. and uh, do 27,000 rip curls. Uh, He's also, you know, what would happen if you turn the charisma all the way up to its max setting on a character slider. We've all heard the same kind of commentary about Jack Black, which is why having to talk about the internet's turn on him in recent months it's kind of painful, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of painful. So before we get to the big stuff, uh, we have to kind of set the stage by addressing some of the smaller criticism that has been swirling around about Jack Black uh, within the last year or so. We briefly mentioned The Mandalorian. We have to talk about the Super Mario Brothers movie. What the fuck? Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. I'm expecting a monster performance by Jackson. There was a lot of criticism over the voice casting in the Super Mario Brothers movie that came out earlier this year. Wait, was that? No, that wasn't this year, right? Hold on a sec. Hey, instead of um, Googling this, I'm just gonna ask you real quick. Uh, when did the Super Mario Brothers movie come out? Uh, was it this year or last year? Last year. Right. It was like the spring of 2023. What are you watching? Uh, you know, the thing. So we remember this, right? People were like, oh, Chris Pratt is just like gonna play himself. Like he's not gonna do a voice or even attempt to, you know, sound like Mario. And I think at the time people were like, okay, Jack Black is Bowser. That's a good choice. You know, Jack Black loves games and he's a he's a good voice actor. He voiced uh, Poe in Kung Fu Panda. Like this is gonna be good. And then the film came out uh, and it was very clear that like, you know, I think Jack Black personally, like when I watched the movie, I was like, he did a pretty good job voicing Bowser. He sounded evil and menacing at the points that he was supposed to. But the thing that kind of threw some people off was the song Peaches because Peaches uh, is essentially just a Tenacious D song. It's Jack Black doing a Tenacious D song in the middle of a Super Mario Brothers movie. And I think the argument here from people who were, you know, fans of Jack Black was the fact that he is a very talented actor and he hasn't done anything in a little while that has seriously pushed a lot of his acting capabilities or his comedic capabilities really. And the song Peaches and Jack Black 
playing Bowser to an extent became the epitome for some people of like, okay, Jack Black isn't really like a serious quote unquote actor anymore. He's just trying to like play Jack Black and be as self-referential as possible because it's easy. Which is not a criticism that's damning in any way. It's more so just like in line with the criticism of Chris Pratt playing himself in every movie. Ironically enough, I don't know if you guys remember the Pixar film Onward, but uh, when Chris Pratt was voicing a character in that movie, a lot of people were like, oh my god, that character like in a different decade totally would have been voiced by Jack Black. And it's just interesting that both of them sort of receive the same criticism nowadays where like all of their appearances in movies are lazy because they're always playing themselves. And between this, the fact that he played Claptrap in the Borderlands movie, which got abysmal reviews, and the announcement that he would be playing Steve in Minecraft, which we'll get back to later, it seemed like this is what Jack Black is more comfortable doing nowadays. Video game movies where he can sit back, have a fun time, and play some kind of variation on himself. All while pursuing his true passion of touring the world with his longtime musical and comedic partner Kyle Gass and the beloved rock duo of Tenacious D, right? Right? Okay, before I get to the thing, you know, the thing that you all came here to hear me yap about, uh, I do want to briefly address two other controversies that Jack Black has found himself in pretty recently. Okay, the first thing I want to mention here, uh, and this obviously happened last year, is that Jack Black has been criticized for his views on Israel and Palestine, mainly due to this message that he posted at the start of the events of October 7th. Jack Black has also been criticized in the past for supporting an organization called Autism Speaks. We've talked about them on the channel before, but they are a charity in support of the eradication of autism, and a lot of folks with autism and advocates for the autistic community do not like the work that they do, and Jack Black has been a supporter of them for quite some time. So it wasn't like every single, like, talking point about Jack Black was all sunshine and rainbows around this time. There were some people uh, who took issue with some stuff that he said and causes that he has supported in the past, and a lot of that criticism really boiled over following a certain major national event. So, uh, I don't know if you guys remember this because I personally, like, you know, I was having trouble recalling it deep back in the recesses of my noggin here, uh, but apparently, uh, the former president, uh, got shot. I'm just kidding. Of course, I'm referencing the fact that, uh, the former president, Donald Trump, uh, was almost assassinated at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, and people have been, like, routinely memeing on the fact that, like, oh, like, that happened, like, so long ago, and, like, so much has happened since then that, like, it didn't really have that much cultural impact. But the one cultural impact it definitely did seem to have, uh, was the subsequent breakup of Tenacious D. Make a wish, Canada. Don't miss Trump next time. <laughs> Okay, so let's quickly break down the clip that you just saw here. During a Tenacious D concert in Sydney, Australia, Jack Black decided to present his longtime comedic duo partner Kyle Gass with a cake for his birthday. Jack Black prompts the whole crowd to sing happy birthday to him, followed by the classic, you know, make a wish, it's your birthday. Kyle then responds, don't miss Trump next time, joking about the shooting that had taken place earlier in that day. After receiving some backlash for that joke on social media, Kyle later apologized in a statement saying, quote, I don't condone violence of any kind in any form against anyone. What happened was a tragedy and I'm incredibly sorry for my severe lack of judgment. I profoundly apologize to those I've let down and truly regret any pain that I've caused. A few days later, Jack Black released a statement of his own saying that he was, quote, blindsided by what was said at the show and that he would never condone hate speech or encourage political violence in any form. He then followed that up with, quote, after much reflection, I no longer feel it is appropriate to continue the Tenacious D tour and all future creative plans are on hold. He then went on to thank their fans for their support and understanding and, uh, people were not happy about how any of this was handled. First of all, the whole incident felt so out of character for Jack and Kyle that a lot of people thought it was a bit. I remember texting my sister, uh, who is very offline and happens to be a huge Tenacious D fan. This is a screenshot of what happened when I texted her that day. And she was like, oh, they're just doing like the Kyle quit the band bit. Like, it's fine. But uh, no, it seemed like things were kind of serious. And there was a lot of hate that came down around Jack Black at this time because Jack Black and Kyle Gass have always been these sort of like, you know, edgy kind of comedians with a little bit of a raunchier edge. And all things considered, people thought that the joke was like, 
pretty tame. It didn't warrant this extreme of a reaction. But a lot of people started to point out that recently, Jack Black, who previously used to walk the line more of like, you know, comedic adult actor versus children's actor, was now taking these very franchise heavy mega roles for younger audiences. And therefore it was now a conflict of interest for him to be hanging around with a guy who made an assassination joke. Granted, that guy is his best friend of multiple decades, and the joke is pretty similar to something that thousands of normies said on Twitter that day. Jack Black actually recently spoke with Variety about the incident, assuring fans that Tenacious D will be back and that they just needed to take a break. He said, quote, I love Tenacious D. It's probably my favorite job, if you can call it that. It's a work of art. It's my baby. Variety also asked if he and Kyle have spoken since the tour cancellation, and he said, yeah, we're friends. That hasn't changed. These things take time sometimes, and we'll be back when it feels right. Is that going to be enough to appease the people calling Jack Black a sellout? Absolutely fucking not. So, Jack Black, starring in the Minecraft movie. Uh, people were, I think, optimistic about it because they were like, oh, like, he's gonna be voice acting. He's a good voice actor. Uh, everybody liked Bowser. Like, he has the potential to bring some life to this animated role as Minecraft Steve. Uh, and then it was revealed that this is not a fully animated film and that Jack Black is just quite literally playing himself as Minecraft Steve in a blue t-shirt and also uh, the Minecraft movie trailer looks like shit from a butt. I am Steve. So if you are unfamiliar, uh, the character Steve is the default skin in the popular game Minecraft and Steve looks like this. So for a lot of reasons, uh, it makes no sense that Steve is being portrayed by Jack Black and uh, there is no alteration to his appearance whatsoever. He just literally looks like Jack Black in a blue shirt and his name is Steve. Not to mention that a lot of people have pointed out that like Steve the character uh, is, is considered by most people to be a black character. So uh, the direction that they seem to be going here is uh, questionable. Now obviously this movie does not look great uh, for reasons that don't entirely have to do with Jack Black, but it is interesting that Jack Black is, I feel like, taking the brunt of a lot of the criticism for it online right now. Because by this point, not only do people consider Jack Black to be a celebrity with bad politics, uh, he is now very clearly a celebrity who actively chooses to engage in bad art. And typically, uh, most people are able to reconcile with one of those things uh, or the other, but not both. And I guess that's part of the reason why I decided to make this video today, right? Jack Black has always been one one of my favorite comedic actors. I think it's safe to say that for a long time he's been one of the most beloved people in Hollywood. A celebrity so charismatic that you'd never think in a million years that anyone could turn on him. And I think now it's a question of whether or not celebrities in this day and age are being held to a naturally higher standard in terms of the expectations of making good art and having good politics. Because there are probably some people in my comments who would argue that there are people who have done way worse things than Jack Black who get treated better, and that his quote-unquote cancellation has been rather fickle. I say this all the time, especially in this series, but it typically depends on what kind of person you are and what you value, and whether or not you want the celebrities that you idolize or at least enjoy to consistently reflect that. And I'm sure you'll let me know where you fall in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Before I go, I really quickly want to address the bot problem in the comment section. Um, I know a couple of other YouTubers have been talking about it. D'Angelo Wallace did a video on it recently. Uh, basically, like, you know, the robots that kind of get here before everybody else in the comment section. Uh, some of those bots have now been posting, like, names and addresses, and in some cases, illegal material like CP. Um, and I just don't interact with them. Just report them. I know some people like to like talk to them like they're people because they think it's funny and like I get it. Don't talk to the bots. Just report the comments. Uh, stay safe out there. YouTube, if you are watching this for some reason, please take care of this problem. Uh, it is really not good uh, because creators have no effective way to police this kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, see you next time.